a gay political prostitution is not acceptable. He can do the prostitution in the old, with the old order, but I think the new order, which is exposed, cannot allow political prostitutes. And unfortunately, Baba stands out to be a political prostitute who cannot uh, resist the temptation to go into bed with any offer that is there by an illegitimate government. For his own stomach. I think uh, Mr. Riley is just thankful for his own stomach. He's not thankful for anybody's stomach. He, he has not even demanded justice for the kids who died. How can he be rushing to go into the government when kids have died? Even some, we don't know where they are. People have been abducted. We don't know where they are. Before going to negotiate with a criminal, why would he demand that the criminal comes clean on what has happened to, to this country? Huh? This so if he cannot, if he's unable to balance a budget, if he has to mortgage the country to keep governing, he has no business being in power. And as I said in Parliament, the very sword he raised up in Kasarani time for him to, to fall on it and die. That's the only honor he can have, to sack himself and get out of office. Let him resign. Let him sack himself. He has sacked the cabinet. Now is the time for him to sack himself and he goes away. We are waiting for him to sack himself. These other things that are coming up, that dialogue, whatever, these vultures, the same old vultures that have denied this country a chance to move forward, are circling. For the, the thing they are going to, to feed on the blood of the children who are, who are cut down on the streets of Nairobi and dance on their graves must be rejected, must be resisted, and must be defeated. And we are going to fight and defeat this character. I think that the solving of the cabinet was a survival. That very sword the, the president was swearing that he was going to use to chop people. He should have fallen on that sword and died with his government. That sword does not just cut one way, it cuts both ways. So if he cannot, if he's unable to balance a budget, if he has to mortgage the country to keep governing, he has no business being in power. And as I said in Parliament... <laughs>